getting off to a flying start as the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? You're watching EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the 2024 UEFA European Championship. It's Spain against Italy. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipation is a really good game, though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. Excellent intervention just then amid impending danger. Here's the lineup for Spain. Grimaldo starts with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Oyarzabal plays with Ferran Torres out wide. And the main striker today is Morata. And Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Matteo Damian starts alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. They take it short. Torres. Nicely blocked. Alvaro Morata, a wonderfully driven forward. And Stuart, you would have to suspect he's going to have something to say for himself here. Well, Derek, he's brilliant in the air. So expect crossing to be a big part of their game plan today. Making the pitch big, getting the ball out wide and deliver as many crosses into the box as possible. It's a short one. And tipping it over the crossbar. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. Who can they pick out? Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. I'm trying to build ahead of steam. Another corner it'll be. And that's to go short. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. Playing it in. Well, he couldn't pick out a teammate inside the box. And they need to get tighter. But the danger averted for now. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Pellegrini, good visualisation and execution, must take the lead here, oh a vital piece of last ditch defending, might be a chance to break, oh very effective play and they might be onto something, options in the middle,
Rodri. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Ready at the far post, Morata here. Well, I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. Running with the ball confidently. Cavajal. Superbly read and executed. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. Can they make it count? Can he get them in front? Oh, keeper dealt with it. And deciding to go short with this one. Barella. What a vital intervention. Pedri. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Torres. Mikel Marino. Moving forward effectively. The first half here comes to an end. Alvaro Morata, normally a very effective spearhead, but Stewart, has he offered enough in this game? Well, he struggled to have any real impact on the game. I think if they are to kick on in the second half, it's key that he sees a bit more of the ball, and hopefully with that, he can start to put that back line under a bit more pressure. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. And teammates around him. He's protecting it well. And through for the goal kick. He hit it with power. Well, as the stats confirm, the game hasn't got going so far. And the attacking play from both sides has been really poor. But some credit must go to the defenders because they've dominated here today. Laporte, Grimaldo with it, Mikel Marino, Lenormand, Marino, he's in here, and that's a very good parry. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. And they know they need to stop him. Varela. Able to get a body in the way. Jorginho. Well, it's a very attractive passing sequence. To jump in front. Oh, fine stop. Execution time it is here. And a short corner, let's see. Can't sit back. Oh, he's blocked it! With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. So making the substitution now. Now a short corner here. 
Bastoni. Palace was at home. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. And short it is. Varela. He cuts it back. Well, only just wide of the post. Pedri. Morata. Torres. And Spain struggling to keep the ball. Zakani. Creative look about this. Varela. And a chance to whip it in here. Pellegrini defended it well. And they have possession again. And the referee allowing the game to flow using advantage. On the attack as there to be late excitement. Must take the lead here. In it goes. But it will not stand offside, Stewart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. Yeah, you can see he's got a problem with his foot. It looks as though Oh, he's... Jeff, what an opportunity this is. And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. Just look at this drill from Barella. He goes past the defender so easily, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. Really good challenge. And support available. The final whistle, and it's gone horribly wrong for Spain in terms of the scoreline. Stuart, your analysis. Yes, Derek, it was a tight game between two very good sides, but they lost concentration late on, and it's cost them dearly. They'll need to get over that quickly. But it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a good all-round performance today. 
only emphasised by the late winner. An extremely important moment, and boy, did he deliver.